Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel, I'm the editor of Spar Point Group. Thanks for watching today. One of the things that I've been following this week is how the web has kind of blown up about Google's self-driving car. Now those of you who've been following Spar for a long time know that this is not necessarily a new concept. It's just Sergey Brin decided this week to talk about it. And you all know that it's a, basically a Velodyne sensor or something similar. I don't think they actually say which sensor it is, but I have a sneaking suspicion it might be a Velodyne. And the laser scanner spins around and Google has figured out a way to use that information coming back into the computer system to make it so that the car can drive itself. Now here's a pretty picture of what that point cloud looks like. And here is what the driving can actually do. It's driving itself. <laughs> ah! This is amazing, dude. Thanks. Pretty cool, right? Wouldn't we all like to have self-driving cars so we can read our books and play with our iPads on the way to work? And some of you people in Maine have seen you driving with your books on your steering wheel. That is a no-no. Stop doing that. You're going to kill me. Anyway, we all want these self-driving cars. But they at Google aren't the only ones that are working on this problem. It turns out that Volkswagen Group Research is working on this a little bit as well. Some of you may have seen that in 2006, they hooked up a ZNF 5006 to a T5, and they started working with how to use wheel rotation sensor and yaw angle sensor data to determine the scanner directory and to basically use essentially consumer off-the-shelf technology to do mobile laser scanning. They're not buying expensive IMUs and uh, throwing hundreds of thousands of dollars of technology onto their cars. Now, that's one thing to create a point cloud, but it's another thing that VW is going to use this for sophisticated driver assistance applications informed by these high accuracy, up to the minute, road geometry and condition information that they can collect with these laser scanners. Now, would you like to hear about how Volkswagen's actually doing that? Well, it turns out that Dominic Vock from Volkswagen Group Research is going to be at SPAR Europe talking about this very thing. It's something that we're really excited about. He's going to be presenting a paper that he presented to the ISPRS and has been accepted. And this is some of the really interesting information that's going to be presented in The Hague next week. Uh, it's something that I'm particularly looking forward to and scoring Dominic. I know it was a lot of work by Linda McLaughlin, our conference programmer. So I want to give her a, a big thumbs up on that as well. So Google is, is blowing up the web with their self-driving car. But if you want to see how this sort of technology actually works in practice, I say get to Spar Europe, listen to Dominic Vock, listen to Volkswagen, and see how it's really done. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and hopefully we'll see you in The Hague next week.